Uh, and then we decided that it would be a good idea to enter into some settlement discussions and see if we might be able to find a way to resolve the suit with the bankers in a way that lets my office do its job while also protecting the integrity uh, of the confidential information in the possession of Missouri banks. Um, our objective in the audit is not to audit whether banks are doing a good job or not. That's beyond the scope of our, our ability uh, and our authority. What we do is we audit the Division of Finance to make sure they're doing their job. And there's two issues we normally look at, among, among others, two principal issues. One, whether the Division of Finance is auditing our banks in accordance with the schedule that they're supposed to follow. In other words, are they doing them in a timely manner? And then when they do do them, are they doing them in a manner that follows their own protocol? The Division of Finance is supposed to look at certain issues when they audit a bank, and we want to just make sure they looked at those issues and check off the boxes. We do not second guess their conclusions. We are not experts in banking. We're experts in auditing. Uh, the, the Missouri bankers were concerned if we looked at some of the examination reports, we would learn about the particular financial health of certain banks and maybe even about individual depositors, which is a legitimate concern. We pointed out to them that we already have confidentiality requirements. They thought they weren't enough. So we were able to work out an agreement that I think satisfies everybody. In fact, we've got Max Cook here over here, uh, president of the Missouri Bankers Association. I think we're both pretty happy with the resolution we've been able to, to, to get. 